What's up, guys? Zero Nine here, and as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, this is kind of gonna be just just a you and me kind of like chilling kind of thing. Just some thought process that was going through my head. So what came about um, this video, or well, the thought of video, was um, one I saw a video of Funhouse talking about the swearing in YouTube. You can see that here, or and they were just talking about another video that YouTube made about like. Uh, the, the the rules of swearing and how it's always been a part of uh, YouTube's TOS or whatever terms of service or whatever whatever they call it. I'm gonna disagree with that just a little bit right now because people have been swearing since the beginning of YouTube. Since well, it's in the beginning of YouTube, I believe no one made money off of it. It was just somewhere you can put your videos, and then I guess people you a lot of traffic happened, and then um, ad people, whatever you want to call them, had just came in and be like, oh yeah, we want to place our ads on these videos, and therefore it was kind of like that, but any kind of rules or changes, uh, haven't affected me at all, until I started thinking about, you know, if my, because my videos get a lot of copyrights, either just like two seconds of a song, or it's just not deemed friendly, or anything like that, I, I swear people... It's just an AI that just goes through everything. It reads the title. It goes, ah, no, nah, this guy is, is said fuck in the title. Nah, go on. I want to say, because I have a lot of uh, copyright strikes and just, just deemed unfriendly, my videos do not show up. My videos just do not show up on, like, any sort of page. I know I'm not, like popular or famous or I'm getting high view counts or high subscriber counts or anything but I feel like the people that can only see my videos are the people who are sub to me it has been a very very like I used to constantly get people come to my channel and be like oh hey the man this is great I don't get that anymore I haven't gotten that in so long I feel like you YouTube's algorithm or whatever it is uh has changed on us that that none of it was spoken of. YouTube loves to do that. They don't they don't like to talk. They just like to do and like not tell anyone. Let people figure it out. Like kind of like when they they do a new like a new YouTube page, figure it all out, and then they well they don't even say that. It's just you'd be like okay, all right, I'm gonna. Click off YouTube, go to bed, wake up, all right, back on YouTube. Whoa, what the, why the fuck has it changed? The hell? So, uh, it, it just mind boggles me that YouTube can kind of get away with this. I know it's their brand and all that, but you still have to make people happy, which you're not. <laughs> you're not making, you're not making anyone happy. Anyone who is still doing YouTube and not moves on to any kind of platform they're really dedicated or they just do not want to step out of their comfort zone because YouTube is really, they are really just digging themselves a hole and be like, all right, come on, man, we need this hole big enough for us to fit in because they're, they're, they're bringing themselves down to the ground and I, I feel the same. Like, once again, doesn't affect me on money. I never made money. I didn't care about making money on it. But if my videos are not being shared anywhere, like... Have you ever gone, have you all, like, you watch, like, big YouTubers, don't care who it is. I don't, I don't care who you watch, like, someone who has, like, maybe 2 to 10 million, oh, sorry, 500k to 10 mil. I, I'm just making numbers here, and then you go, alright, well, I'm gonna see what's on the page. You never see anyone under, like, 100k. Like, why do you not, why do you not, why is there not, like, a section for beginners that, you know, right now, if you're starting YouTube, it is the toughest thing, like, you may think, oh, this is easy, I've seen other people do it, if someone starts off a YouTube video, I mean, if someone starts a channel, and then, like, they're making really crappy quality, because, you know, I guess their favorite YouTuber said, hey, you don't need the best, you just need a webcam, you just need your phone cam, use your iPod as a headphones, and talking to the little thing, yeah, that that doesn't work anymore. This day and age. But if someone is doing that and they're getting like nearly like let's say three likes, but they're getting like uh, maybe 
a few K views and they got like nearly a hundred K sub. That's called sub botting. All right. <laughs> that is called sub botting. Either that or this guy is very popular and that's all he needs. He just tells all his friends to sub or he's made subs. It's just, if you're a small YouTuber that doesn't have any kind of outlet to any other YouTubers like myself, you are going to struggle but you could still make the best content out there. You could still even, you could probably compare yourself to one of your favorite YouTubers and be like, yeah, I did very well, man. The editing was good. I feel like it was all professional. Everything was great. I've spent like two grand on all this equipment and crap. And, you know, you put it in the grind and you're like, what the hell is going on? I believe it's because of YouTube's just, just ignoring anyone who hasn't made it yet. And in the sense of made it, I'll, I'll say like uh, 100k or 50k, whatever. Because I haven't seen, like, YouTube don't care about us. Oh, I meant us as in, like, a small creators that, you know, kind of kind of want to get our videos out there in the sense. But YouTube is like, nah, 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 no one wants to see that. Bring in fucking, oh, fucking this guy. This guy doesn't swear. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting kind of off topic here. I got some bullet points here. Um, yeah, what I what I honestly think, because YouTube is so secretive. They did a whole interview with someone, I can't remember, and he'll be like, so uh, can you tell us a little bit how YouTube works? How does the money go and how what determines, what determines as, like, it's a friendly family content. Hey, what makes this person eligible for money? And YouTube would just be... I say YouTube because I don't know who the guy was, but you never see the same guy speaking of YouTube. It's always someone different unless you really follow YouTube, which I don't. I, I don't care about them. <laughs> but um, they would, they would also always respond like, oh, yeah, our team is doing the greatest, you know. Our team, we get we get them bringing in all people from different countries and, you know, we're trying to make YouTube more of uh trying to make it more of a variety you know youtube is trying to be you know everyone is welcome here you if you want to do youtube you can start youtube you can make a living off youtube if you go on if you make our uh our fucking points to to earn money uh, it's just everyone is welcome youtube is great and then the guy that's like what, what, what that was that wasn't my question. That you you just you just avoided my question. What the hell? YouTube's like yeah, YouTube's uh, YouTube's pretty great. Yeah, yeah, YouTube's pretty great. And it's just I'm watching that video. I don't know who it was. I'm really sorry. I'll put in his name. Editing. Woo! Yay! How can I do editing? Uh, it, it's it's it wasn't entertaining to watch. I feel like YouTube didn't really say much. They kept saying that they're. Ex yeah, the YouTube is weird. They're, they're, they're sucked into this whole, like, we're losing money because someone said the N-word and now people are cutting uh, sponsorships or ads on our video, uh, on our platform. Shit, we got to get into some family-friendly crap. I, <laughs> I don't know if that's true if what, um, because um, PewDiePie said the N-word. I don't know how it all started. All I know is people are blaming PewDiePie because of that and they call it the at apocalypse or something like that. It's I it, it didn't bother me at the time, but now that I think about it, now that YouTube is saying, if you want to make it on YouTube, buy by these rules and you will definitely, definitely be fine. You'll be okay. You'll be able to do it. I'm just thinking, okay, I don't do that. All right, yep, I swear in the first fucking 30 seconds of a video. Oh, uh, yep. Uh, yep, not family friendly. Okay, well... And then I'm, I'm assuming it goes through a machine and it's like, yeah, nah, nah, this, this, this can't, nah, don't, yeah, let's just chuck him in the pile of other fucking crap. I, I just, I, it, uh, my videos aren't going out there. If you, if I have to physically share out my videos, that's the only way. And I don't do that. I fucking hate that. I really hate like going to people that I don't know and be like, hey, come in, just come over, just come over and look at my YouTube channel. It's awesome. And then they watch it and they go, oh, yeah, it's all right. I'm like, oh, I think it's the best. Oh, <laughs> I just don't do that. But what I think, all right, <laughs> what I really think is going on in YouTube land is they've made an AI system, right? Of course, the AI system does everything from 
watching a video for 30, 30 seconds. Apparently, that's what they said in the video. Well, that's what I got from watching, um, that's what I got watching from Funhouse, like, uh, Dude Soup. Is So he said, if you don't swear in the first 30 seconds, you're good. Because apparently that's all people fucking watch up to. Like, oh, 30 seconds. All right, this video is good. Bing! I don't get it. It's pretty much them telling us how to cheat their system, which just fucking... <laughs> what? It, it's, it, it almost feels like they're not in control. They're just like, okay, um, the, the AI we've created has just grown a brain and... And and we're just telling you how to how to avoid not getting monetized. That's so it's in the first thirty seconds. I want to miss my family. <laughs> I feel like I don't actually feel like, but I I'm, I'm thinking the only like thing that could make sense is they've made an AI. It's somehow gone uh, I robot on this shit, and Will Smith is out doing something else. Actually, no, wait a minute. They had Will Smith for uh, YouTube Rewind. <laughs> it's Rewind time. Yeah. So maybe, maybe they, they were kind of hinting at uh, Will Smith going, man, we need you, you deal with fucking robots before Will Smith. We're gonna, we're gonna need your help this time. Will Smith is like, ah, nah, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off track. I believe. All right, listen here. This is deep story shit. YouTube has been an AI. It's uh, it's learned so much that it's beyond anyone who is at YouTube, even YouTube fucking headquarters or whatever. They're like, our lives have been run by a robot. I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy, you're good. All right, Ted, you're good. All right, yes. And this AI has just taken over YouTube. So it's kind of like that. Yeah, uh, if you ever watch South Park, it's like um, there's a South Park episode where I think it was Walmart or something like, was taken over, Walmart was a, a living being itself, <laughs> and, and, and that's what YouTube is right now, it's physically, that's how I feel, that's the only, it's like, mm-hmm. if they come out and be like, yeah, we made a robot, I'll be like, oh, yeah, knew it. yeah, okay, that makes sense, yeah, go do you, <laughs> and AI goes, nope, 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 oh, that video is pretty good, it's about fucking princesses, uh, actors, fucking doing shit, yeah, all right, chucked in, and oh, some little girl playing with dolls, fucking 30 million fucking views, it's just, <laughs> I, I don't know how the ag- our algorithm works, I don't think they'll ever tell us how the algorithm works, it's just, everything is keep secret on YouTube, um, but yeah, I've already, I got another point. I think I've made it already. Uh, YouTube doesn't listen or answer to us. Uh, yes, we want a PewDiePie and what's it called? I, they're just avoiding their biggest, like, competitive thing. YouTube and fucking T-Series. How do they just go, eh, eh. They swear. Well, I'm, I'm a little confused they didn't do T-Series, but I, I think their thought process was, if, well, if we, if we don't put in PewDiePie and... And if we put in T-Series, we're about to get backlash. But they got backlash anyway. So it doesn't fucking matter. Lose, lose. Rip. So I just, YouTube's just, they don't listen. They don't care. Like we can, we can, usually with a company, they go, oh yeah, we listen to your feedback. We're going to compromise. We're going to do half what you said. And then we're going to do what we do. And hopefully everyone is happy. YouTube is just like, oh yeah, we've done this. Oh, yeah, no, it's always been like this. They, I, I still can't comprehend how they t- can just come in and be like, oh, I don't know what you mean. This is, this has always been a thing. You've never been able to swear here ever. What the hell? Do you, it's like you guys don't read it. And it's like, well, then why the fuck are you taking action now? Why did it take this long for you to say this and take, take, talk to us? Don't just think everyone reads what you say and understand it. Talk to us, YouTube. Like, you, everyone is leaving. But, yeah, they just always avoid questions. Like I said in that interview where they just... One guy would be like, oh, so what do you have for sandwich? Oh, yeah, YouTube is great. We're doing good. It's like, if they just, they just like, go around the fucking question and, yeah, it just, it's, it's unwatchable. I hate watching that fucking video. Um, what I miss about YouTube uh, is just... 
just the freedom of it. Like, it wasn't all about money. It wasn't all about getting ads. It was not all about getting that green dollar sign, whatever it was. YouTube was, back in the day, was just about making, creating content and competing with other, like, companies. Like, Machinima was, like, the biggest then. And now, isn't it, like, gone? They're deleting all their videos now? It's just, once again... I don't think that it could be because of YouTube because no one watches Machinima anymore. But And to make a living off YouTube, you need to have an substantial amount of views and subscribers. I don't know how that works. I don't really care, to be honest. It doesn't affect me in some way. But Old Day YouTube was definitely, is definitely my favorite. I, uh, I had so much fun like just watching everyone just create content just to create content. Wasn't all about money. Wasn't about bitches. Wasn't about anything, man. It's just, ah, uh, man. If you miss those days, man, I'm, I feel sorry for you. Because right now, YouTube is like in this web, cobweb, where they're stuck trying to get away from the spider, and they they just they can't seem to do it. And the reason they're in that web is because they've like, hey, watch this, watch this fucking Twitter or fucking MySpace or whatever. I'm gonna jump in this web. <laughs> yeah, they put themselves in there. Is what I'm saying. It, it's that meme. It's that video. Oh, it's a meme where I think it was from Saturday Night Live or something where he shoots like YouTube and he goes, and it's just YouTube going, who killed YouTube? And it was him. YouTube killed YouTube. <laughs> so. I miss I miss the old YouTube so much. Machinima days when people can just create content to create content. Obviously, you can't constantly keep doing that. Money needs to be earned if you want to make a living off this. And you know, YouTube did good for that for a few years, but then someone said the N word, and that was that was the end. Then <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> uh, I don't think it was that, but it may have been a little bit about that. Going, oh well, if that company is. If that company, was it Coca-Cola? Didn't Coca-Cola leave and everyone was like, oh, okay, yeah, oh, I can leave or we can comprehend, make a few more bucks off of this. So another sad thing seeing right now, well, not sad, it's kind of good and sad depending how you watch your uh, creators. I call them creators. I don't want to call them YouTubers because no one's a YouTuber anymore. No one just standalone does YouTube. But I've watched like my favorites, like Wildcat, um, basically I do work. Uh, we got C I don't know what C is doing, but like suck, fucking everyone who I used to watch on Machinima or just just back in the day have kind of like gone. Ah, oh, yeah, I'll still do YouTube, just not as much. But hey, if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, then yeah, they've been, they've moved on to a different platform to make money to get their content out there because there is not a single day where one of my favorite creators doesn't complain about youtube on twitter it's always like oh here we go sixth time fucking uploading this video hopefully it gets a green tick or there's actually part people saying my video cannot be it, it's stuck on fucking rendering or whatever fucking whatever youtube goes through whatever process they do to upload their video it's like and then they don't talk to you. They go, oh, okay, sorry, we're, we're working on this right now. Yeah, we're doing this. And it's just like, no, they, they're just like, let it do on its own. We got, we got too much to worry about. I would say it's a good thing that um, creators are going to different other platforms like Twitch and all that. But it just looks really bad for YouTube. Like, for YouTube, you want more people to come in for more ads to be, you know, out there on your on your website um but it seems like you're not catering to them at all i think there was uh, like a year ago or two you've made it harder for um youtubers that are starting out to earn money it was like a thousand and you needed a sponsor now it's like you need 1500 you need this many views you need this many fucking shit and it's just kind of like i don't want, i don't care i'm not eh, whatevs it's like, they're like, ah, no, nah, it's too late for you little guys. It's too late. Come on. Come on. We can't handle this many people. Come on. Get get out of the way. YouTube don't care about uh, little creators or even big creators. Uh, they care about corporations and uh, different colored people. I don't know why I did that for that. Uh, just diff like, they have gone so diverse, it's not funny. It's gotten to the point where it's like, 
it's it then they're not even hiding anymore like they, they i'm not saying that's a bad thing like it is that time that that year or fucking whatever that everyone needs to be together it's it's cool and all that but it almost seems like youtube is trying too hard like they trying so hard that if you're caucasian white or you've been doing youtube for like since the beginning they don't care about you they're like oh yeah we've given you enough money why don't you fucking shut up give it to the fucking asians or whatever i don't know that said um creators need to find a new way to make money which uh that's why you see uh support me on youtube that's why you see uh them going to pan what's it called uh pan why am i thinking of pandora it's not pandora it's like go fund me pages or pages like patreon that's the one i was looking for patreon that youtubers have patreon they have fucking go fund me they have all this other crap that so they can make money that shows that they're struggling with like what six million subs getting close to 1.2 million views with ads or oh, it depends depends if they swear in the first 30 seconds <laughs> it it just comes to the point where even if you are fucking like you you you're someone who has 10 million subs you could just afford a really really it does still show that people are still living in mansions and all that crap but it's getting to the point that they have to like maybe they can only afford rent but they can't afford food or anything like that. It's just YouTube. It's not a place where you can do full time and make YouTube. I don't know about Twitch yet. Twitch uh, is a little bit different. I think we hear about how much money they take and how much you physically earn and all this other crap. So, um, well, I think we're getting coming close to the end of the video. I'm going to try and make this unedited as possible. Of course, there will be like photoshops and little crap like that because I, I enjoy doing that um will i still be doing youtube of course of course but uh not as much as i used to i like to do one video two videos a week i like two videos a week is probably my good way i'm like oh yeah i fucking really feel like oh there's something happening like an event but oh one video a week for now i'm, I'm doing twitch now so once again i've migrated <laughs> it's just YouTube is not enjoyable when they don't talk to you or they just change shit on you that you don't understand and they let they like oh, okay find out what it is do what you must and it's like uh it doesn't feel it's it's free anymore to upload anything on there. I feel like as soon as you upload it, it's like, nah, nah, sorry, nah, I don't like that. Yellow, yellow fucking money or like it's been copyright claimed or it's just not deemed friendly it just it just stays in your page that, that video you made doesn't get spread out to anywhere else like let's say i played resident evil 2 the demo and then someone some other guy watches one of their friends resident evil 2 video that has like what like three four views and they like look at the side and it'll be like oh watch fucking um this guy fucking 8.6 million fucking subscribers they they only recommend like higher people and it's like dude they've already made it youtube youtube what about us what about us people <laughs> you're just ignoring us it's you're making it so hard for anyone who has just started to like and put so much effort into it. Like with with Twitch, they're like, all right, just stream a um, hundred hours this week. It's like, okay, well, that's that's a lot actually. Never mind. I, I I don't know. Just they they do like an achievement system so that you can track how long you've streamed for, and they have like this like ticker where it's like if you've done all this, you you've, you're sponsored, and it's like awesome. They tell you how to do it. YouTube is just kind of like. Yeah, just get 15, get a 1,500 subs, get about 10,000 views, get all this, and yeah, it's like, fuck me dead. you know how hard that is? I've been on, like, in the hundreds for, like, so fucking long, and I feel like I've put out quality, A quality fucking videos, and it's just, it gets drowned out by other YouTubers, or YouTubers just not putting them out, so... It is very tough. There will be a point where I'm just going to go, there's no point. My, the, I'm working, like, I spend, like, like three full days just to bring out a video. 
and like I work, I work, I fucking neglect everything else. I'm like fucking doing as much as I can to make it as perfect. Like I said, I'm a perfectionist. So I try and make this video as best as possible to the point where I go, yeah, I'll watch that. I'll watch that if I didn't know him. Yeah, fuck yeah. That was pretty cool. But it just doesn't get showed to anyone. It's like I have to share it out and I hate sharing it out. So YouTube... I you're going down a massive slope, and I'm not seeing a like I'm not seeing a lot of nice comments from you anymore. Like people, people are like saying you're you're a dying website, and you're not acknowledging that. You just keep digging that hole. Anyway, <laughs> I said my fucking two cents or two dollars, whatever you want to call this. It's just it it was just a thought process. I was going to bed. I'm like, yeah, YouTube is really a fuckhead and not giving a crap about us. YouTube is fucking saying we're dumb, saying, oh, this has always been a fact. What do you mean? You've never been able to swear. When the hell were you able to swear? I don't know. Back to when um, Vanos and when Funhouse started. They, they watch fucking porn and yet they still make money. And now you're going, ah, don't say this word. Oh, damn, you can't make money. I'm sorry. Oh, well, maybe next time. And it's like... Ugh. They don't actually don't even say that. They just they just hint it with that fucking money symbol, whatever. They, they, they oh, fucking everyone hates everyone sees that and they're like, well, fuck you, YouTube. <laughs> I'm going over to Twitch. Yeah, so I'm gonna still be doing YouTube just because I enjoy it, and plus I love editing. Um, hopefully one day YouTube can just grow the fuck up and you know. Put in like uh, what what is like video games have you know how it's like R eighteen and all that like that kind of rating on it, so so they still get money, and and it's still like I don't know YouTube do you because right now you're going down a dark rabbit hole and uh and, and when it comes down to saving no one's gonna really help you people are just gonna be like oh, you never really helped me <laughs> so. Once again, I'll still do YouTube, just on my own terms. Anyway, follow me on Twitch. There's zero on <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to end it there. Hopefully, I got all my points across. Uh, as a small YouTuber, you don't have to listen to me because, once again, these are off by just thoughts and watching other people complain about it. So, I, I just wanted... I, I, I love talking about this, and I also hate it because it's like... I feel like I've cracked, cracked the Da Vinci Code by saying my videos don't go out there at all just because I'm a smaller YouTuber. They expect you to share it out. And, wait, wait, wait. Didn't they do an update where they've got rid of automatic uh, tweets and Facebook or whatever? you got to share them out physically now. Like, if I upload a video, I won't go on my Twitter because they're like, eh, we think it's better for you to, to go out there and share it out yourselves because we know we fucked up. Your videos aren't getting shared out, so I'm sorry. It's just, YouTube is like, fucking hell, man. Why? Why get rid of something that was so easy and it made it so easy to share it out? I don't want to have to physically go, okay, guys, this video is pretty cool. Come and watch it. Fucking send it to all my friends. I want it automatically sent to my friends. Taking more time of my day. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm definitely going to end it there. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but... Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully, I got my points across, and hopefully some of you guys can understand or shed some light on what's actually going on on YouTube land. Because <laughs> right now, I don't... I don't fucking know. I don't fucking don't care. I'm doing Twitch now, so I'm happy with that. But anyways, guys, if you liked the video and you'd like to see more, please leave a like. And you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.